Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, April 20th. Uh, nice green day today, plus 807. So let's go through these. I'll show you what happened. Mighty 90s uh, did two trades. Both were winners, plus 115 in Disney, plus 210 in Piton. No pairs trades today. Uh, on the runners, had a winner in Beyond for 140, MU minus 272. PLTR and Roku were basically scratches, minus 20, minus 30. Tesla plus 151, and my biggest winner, Uber, plus 513. So let's check these out, starting with our Mighty 90s and Disney. So if we go to Dizzy Disney, uh, Disney had this just weakness all morning, came into this pivot with a nice volume spike. So we got long right here. Uh, just on this little bounce up right here, I got out for, uh, got out of half of my position, and just kind of chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. And when I was looking for a couple back-to-back -back green bars, it gave us one. And then when it bounced up here, it was green for a little bit, getting ready to close. So I ended up closing out my last piece right there and just booked a small profit of 115. Uh, Piton, plus 210. So Piton had this initial strength uh, out of the gate, came up to a pivot. Nice volume spike here. Got short right in this area here and caught this little wave down for a nice 210 profit there. I was having some chart issues early, so I was taking some really small position sizes initially, just because I was trying to get my bearings, switching between charts and a bunch of different things. So I uh, still booked a profit on those two. Uh, on the runners, we had Beyond. So Beyond was a nice winner. Again, I was this was one of my first trades I put on. It was pretty small, I had this initial flush. A uh, nice spike in volume, got this bounce, got short right here, and rode this thing all the way down. and got out of my last piece right there. So nice trade in beyond for plus 140. Uh, MU was a loser for minus 272. I uh, had this big push up, nice volume spike. Uh, on this pullback here, got long. It bounced up, got out of half right here. I was looking for more, uh, but the, it never, never went any higher. So it just kind of started coming down, coming down. I ended up cutting out of my last piece right here. So I ended up taking a loss overall on MU of 272. PLTR was a scratch, and that was actually on two different trades, uh, one to the upside, one to the downside. So I had this initial push up, nice spike in volume, waited for a pullback to get long, looking for a bounce, a continuation higher. Didn't happen. So when it broke below here, I got out of my long and I got short. And so I rode that short down and closed out of my last piece right here at the unchanged mark. So ended up uh, taking net net minus 20 bucks, but uh, got most of it back and did the same thing in Roku. If we take a look at Roku. Uh, Roku had this initial push up with volume, looked for a little pullback to get long. I missed, I missed it right here. I would have had a nice profit just on that little pop there. But I, so I missed that initial push. When it pulled back, that's where I got long and it never gave me any continuation higher. Part of this is the overall market that just started to get really weak, dr uh, drug everything down with it. So when Roku came down and then when it bounced back up, so it broke through, uh, when it bounced back up, got short and rode this thing down. I think I got out of my last piece. I think it was right here, right as it touched yesterday's low. So I ended up getting everything back except for $30. Uh, Tesla plus 151. So this was a kind of a quick little trade here. Uh, Tesla had this push up. Oh, let me expand this. Uh, Tesla was just having some big volume bars, big, 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 big. And so when it had this one here, I waited for a little pullback and I didn't wait for much. It just pulled back here. I got long about right here and this thing popped up, got out of half. And then when the market started getting really weak, Tesla was holding up pretty well, but it started chopping around here and I just got out of my last half and just took a profit of 151, which in hindsight obviously was a good choice because this thing fell apart. Uh, and then lastly, Uber, this is my biggest winner. Uh, and Uber had this uh, initial weakness here, big volume bar when it bounced up to this pivot, got short right here and this thing just rolled over. I ended up getting out of my last piece I think right down here was the last one. So nice trade in Uber for 513. So overall plus 807 will be streaming every day this week. If you guys have any questions, let me know.